pray you about it, but don't, okay? Nothing's going to happen like it did before. But I... I know. I just know, okay? What do you want to ask me? Well, I need to know about the time you saw that woman in the park, the time you were uh, looking for Brandon. She... only thing she said to me was that she was going for a long walk. Now, I didn't have any reason not to believe her. What was her name? Carla. Carla was her name. Another one for the list. And she said that she had seen Brandon playing on an old train car and that she would take me to him. And what she was probably trying to do was get me alone so nobody would hear us. But, Cruz, if she had a gun, I sure didn't see it. She did. It was in that blow-up that somebody stole from my studio. And that was the only time you ever saw her before last night? Yeah. You mean as far as you can remember? Exactly. Now we're talking about a professional killer here. I oh, think. Cruz, I don't think we need to frighten her. No, I'm not trying to do that, Mr. C., but between that day in the park and last night... Well, I would doubt that the woman was on vacation. Maybe even before then. Yeah, but I haven't even been here. I've been away. But, Kelly, after you came back, and I know you didn't see her, did anything happen that seemed unusual or odd? No. Wait a second. When I got home, I found a, a, a package in my suitcase that I had never even seen before. What was in that it? That seemed kind of odd. I, not that I didn't look in it. There was a name and address on it. Uh... Parker somebody. There's uh, something Parker. I don't remember. I just took it there and dropped it off. Do you remember the address? Not the number. Um, Tolis. It was on Tolis, and I think I could find it again. And when I got there, this strange man answered the door. Parker Simonson. Now I remember the name. But I'm not sure that was him who answered the door. Anyway, whoever it was, he mistook me for a messenger, I guess, because he was talking about paying me for the delivery. And, uh, and then this other guy came in looking for a cigarette. He dropped him on the table. I picked him up and handed him to him. He was uh, tall and handsome. He had blue eyes, a mustache, looked kind of like a, a TV anchorman or a politician type. That's all. I, I didn't wait around very long. I felt kind of embarrassed, and I thought, well... Too much trouble to explain to these people, so I just left. I think we should get ourselves over to that house. Hey, I'm the cop. I'll go, all right? Well, Cruz, Nick was involved. Shouldn't he go with us? Oh, no, wait a minute, honey. You're not going to go anywhere. Daddy, how are they going to find it without me? Look, I've got a double guard around this estate. Now, if you leave, it's not going to do with See, I won't leave her side, and uh, I'll make sure a black and white is tailing us the whole way. Daddy, there's no other way. See, see, if they don't act right away and try to catch the people who are trying to hurt Kelly, they may not have a second chance. I'd go with you, Kelly, but I have to be at this press conference. Yeah, I know. And you've got a fit for your gown, don't you? I forgot. Some bride you are. Yeah. Well, she'll do in a pinch. Um, you ready? Yeah. I'll bring her right back. You be careful, Chris. All right. Well, Gina is certainly sleeping in late. I think I'll see if she's up yet. Excuse me. I think I'd better go, too, honey. Oh, okay, I'll see you at... It was awfully hard for you coming right before your wedding. I'm so sorry. By all rights, you should be floating on air. Yeah, well, if something tells me, I don't know, there might not even be a wedding. Eden Capwell, what do you mean there's not going to be a wedding? What do you mean? I don't know. I'm just afraid. I remember when I was acting, or trying to act, and mm -hmm. I would go on auditions, and I would... I would know. I would absolutely know. I was never going to get the part. No matter what part it was, I wasn't going to get it. And then I get the part. And then, before I went to the studio to shoot the film, I thought, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get a fatal disease. All my hair's going to fall out. I'm going to get in an accident on the way to the studio. Well, of course, that didn't happen. And then after the picture was made, I thought, nobody, nobody is even going to notice me in this thing. And then when I did, I would go, I got really depressed because I thought, they're going to get so sick of looking at me, I am never going to get another job. <laughs> Sometimes it's really hard to believe that good things are going to happen to you. But you better start believing it. Because it's going to happen. Mama. You know, I never really thought about marriage. I never really thought I was the type. But when I thought about it, you were always there. And I'm really glad that you're going to be here now. So am I. Oh, so am I. And I thought about, about it a lot, too. And I thought about all the ceremonies that I missed when you were growing up. I'm so proud of you. For what? 
for falling in love. Oh, it doesn't take any special talent. Oh, yes, it does. Yeah, it does. Yes. Mama.